I'm really happy today. River Cottage Fishburg by Hugh Flippin' what's his name? And Nick Fisher. What I'm gonna do is page 289, steam braised ling with thyme and lemon, but I'm gonna do it with cod because I've got cod. Okay, he doesn't mention cod a lot because he's very political and cod are endangered and all that. Um, that's the one thing I don't like about this book. It's a fantastic read, but uh, a bit too political for me. Anyway, let's crack on. Start with my fish kettle. Decent glug, a couple of tablespoons worth of olive oil. Similar amount, white wine. About a couple of tablespoons full. Seasoned with freshly ground pepper. Same again with a bit of salt. About a tablespoon's worth of fennel seeds. Five bay leaves out of the garden. Rip them up, chuck them in. Beautiful reduced price, one pence time from Asda. Out of the freezer again, of course. Let's put a few stalks in there. Because I want it to be really quite flavoursome. The book says a couple of stalks, but I really like a lot of flavour. Right, squeeze half a lemon in there as well. A nice bit of juice. Doesn't matter about the pips, if they go in, because this is just a stop. Now I'm going to put a bit of lemon zest in there. Maybe not. I'm going to add a good old knob of butter in there as well. Unsalted butter. I'm going to try again with the lemon zest. Use a box grater because it's a hell of a lot easier than that other stupid little tool we got. Right, there we go. Let's have a look. Make sure we get it all out. Decent amount of lemon zest that's going to go in there. Now I'm going to use my new cleaver, thinly slice some garlic. I'm actually going to chop it up a bit as well, I think. Maybe, depends how thin my slice is going to. I'm not used to this uh, cleaver yet, so I don't know if I can manage it all that well. Mm, yeah, they're all right. Let's just chop them a little bit. Why not? That can go in as well. That's nice and simple. Just leaves half a fish cup of water, fish mug, whatever. Swill it around a bit. A nice little mixture. That's going to go on the hob now. Of course, it isn't a fish dish without some fish. Got four codling fillets here. Just cut them small chunks. They're skinned and deboned. Right, just cutting some nice sized chunks which are going to go into the bouillon which is a French word which my wife would probably say is pronounced <laughs> or something. Um, and then that's going to sit there and simmer away, take on the flavour of the aromatics. It's another good word, that's English word though, that one. I, I like English words and French words when I'm cooking. So it's going to sit there in the fish kettle and simmer away. So, nice meaty sized chunks to get your teeth into. Popping my little bits of codling into there, I'm going to leave them for the next 10 minutes. I'm going to leave the lid off as well so that the stock reduces, or the bouillon reduces, and like that we'll have a little sauce for it as well. 
Look at this, just like Milo's Syndicate, everybody will have a share. Going to give it a little swirl around just to make sure everything's nicely mixed and everything's coated. And now that's just going to sit. There. Got two rings on the go, they're not too hot, they're about mid temperature. Um, they're just going to cook gently. And there we have it. So I've got my chunks of fish with a bit of the sauce over it, a bit of parsley from the garden, some black potatoes from the garden, and a new potato as well, a bit of salad, a couple of lemon slices. That's all ready to go.